Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here, and welcome into a another 2020 set review. I can no longer say early since they're available everywhere now. And anyways, this is set number 70430, the Newbury Subway. It has 348 pieces and will be <laughs> and is retailing for $39.99 Canadian and $29.99 USD. And this is something that I never thought I'd be doing on the channel. I am not a fan of Hidden Side, never have been, and still am not even after building this set. Why did you get it then? Well, I really like this build. This is a fantastic looking subway. Did you know that we've never gotten a subway station like this before? If you search up subway on brick set, two things pop up. This set and some little take home, I don't even know what the set is. That's shocking to me. Out of all the years of LEGO, how is this the first time we're getting this little sewer slash subway build? And it really upsets me that it's in a theme like Hidden Side. And you know what? I'm going to put aside my dislike for the theme right now, and I'm going to just talk about this set. And you know what? I got to really hand it to the set. It is really good. It is, I think this is just, it's a really great set. It could be one of my favorite sets that I've built out of all the 2020 sets that I've gotten, and it has nothing, absolutely nothing to do with Hidden Side and the ghost features. In fact, that actually ruins the set for me personally. But anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and let's take a look at the magnificent build. All right, here's the subway build. And again, I just think it's really shocking that this is the first time we're ever getting something like this. This is so unique and something really special that I think belongs in a Batman theme or a superheroes theme or let alone a city set. How have we never gotten like a subway platform or something like that? To me, it is really disappointing that it's coming in a theme like Hidden Side where some of the play features and different things are really ruined by this spooky sort of, um, I guess, setting, which is not something that I personally like and I know it's a lot of people and I know that a lot of people also don't like it, but anyways, um, let's get the hidden side stuff out of the way first, I think. Um, if you don't know how the app works, it like focuses in or you got to reveal certain areas with different colors. So you've got a red thing over here. You've got some hot pink there. This thing spins around to reveal different colors there. I really dislike that. Out of everything in this set, like it's really well hidden, everything else. Haha, <laughs> hidden side. Of them. Uh, but this is really just, I don't know what that is. It's some sort of spectral device, I'll call it, but I really don't like that. The other thing as well is what I've noticed with other sets is they're really good at covering up the parts, but with this one like that, I don't like, but as well as you could see the glow in the dark when you're looking at it from here, those studs. So that is a bit of a shame, but the play feature itself is really smooth. And if you like the spookiness and all that stuff, it is, it's quite a unique sort of uh, build. I got to hand it to them. Like it's quite interesting with the mouth actually opening up with for whatever reason i guess the subway lifts up and, and it cracks in half and then the the bottom opens up and you've got some glow in the dark teeth and everything there um but you do have a sticker there with some gears um this is a sticker here as well number 30 train and then here you've got like some tentacles or something sticking out of the the sewer vent or whatever that is a print, and this is actually quite a rare newspaper, which is really awesome. It just, it looks like a Gotham City newspaper, so that's really awesome. It first came in the Ghostbusters HQ, so it's been in Apocalypseburg and one Winter Village set. So this thing is pretty rare, and to be getting it in a cheap set like this, that that's pretty great. Over here you have a plank with some stickers on it. Um, I don't know, nothing too special going on there, but... Uh, it does add to the detail. I guess you could ride the bike that's included in the set up or the skateboard. You can grind on that or whatever. Central Station, I guess that's the name here uh, where the stop is in Newbury. I really love the track build here. That looks super, super cool. Um, it is a bit of a shame that the wheels are not always touching if you got to kind of leave the subway on an angle. Um, but yeah, I wish that they were touching all the time. I'm going to try and fix that. If I can't, um, I'm probably going to cover it up and you won't be able to see that anyways. But, uh, overall, I think the aesthetic of this thing is really, really cool. I love the dark, uh, tan here mixed in with the, the, the dark green. I think that that looks really, really awesome. And the sand green sprinkled throughout the whole thing as well. Looks really, really cool. I wish that this looked more like a sewer, like 
this is the, the subway platform, right? I guess you board the subway. You can't really move the train forward or anything, but that that's okay. But this is meant to be the actual subway platform. And then this is meant to be like a, a service access where the construction worker or the, the subway worker can actually go through this sort of door here. And I really like the way that that's built. Um, and coming into the other side, it's really cool. You can see that he's got this calendar there, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, of course there, and just checking off the days that he last checked the stuff. And there's some sort of signature or something, or maybe he, or maybe that's like he, maybe that's when he got possessed or whatever from the ghost and he didn't finish writing down his last check up. But you got a cool little turnpipe there. That's really awesome or, or whatever. You can climb up these. So that's really cool to get to the top. Not really sure why you would do that. Got a little right, red light there. As well as right here you have a wrench held there to do any maintenance work on everything else. Back of the set's completely ruined, in my opinion, with this bright blue and everything. You could even see it sticking out from the top. We can articulate the leaves here, whatever that's meant to be in the bright blue. And I get a lot of like upside down sort of vibe here. And I believe that there's some sort of portal set or something with different colors like this. So I guess that's coming into the real world or something like that. You can see the blue and stuff on the actual build of the subway train. You got a sticker there and a sticker there uh, with some eyes or something peering through. Don't really know. And then behind here, nothing too special, but uh, I do really like the build. I like the color scheme. And again, like I mentioned before, I'm very excited to change up a bunch of stuff. It's funny, I, I literally, um, while I was building this, the minute that the glow in the dark parts came out of the, the bag, I was having such a great time. And then I just let out an audible sigh. I was like, oh my goodness. Like, oh, it just, I don't know. I. Maybe it's a jealousy thing why I don't like this theme because I think that this would just make such a great city set or Superhero set. I know I say it all the time, but I'm really excited about that But let's move on to the minifigures. Here is the ghost dog or whatever. It's such a shame It would be really great if they actually made a new mold for zero for the nightmare before Christmas theme, but yeah, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. It, it, it's a bit of a shame, but uh, yeah, I, I think it's a cool little mold, and its name is Spencer, and any any Ash and Flash extra fans in here, Spencer, or like uh, Spoose Dog and all that, uh, that, that's the official name now. If I ever, if he's in the other set that I'm going to review, the dog's name is Spoose Dog. Here is Jack, and this is, uh, yes, this is Jack. I don't really have anything to say about him really like the hood piece. I like that it's being used in other themes now, like Ninjago, and it's really detailed and everything, and you could see that he has a cool face print. I wish the scar wasn't there, but I could easily remove that with some police remover of Niall, and then on the back, you've got this super angry expression, and I don't know why, but the, the claws there, the, right there, doesn't that remind you of some Toronto Raptors, you know, like the logo or whatever? Any Any Raptors fans? And here is Parker, and I believe that this is a brand new hairpiece and everything for this line or this this wave, the second wave of Hidden Side sets. And she got a little fanny pack there on her torso, and it says Boo to Ghosts right there. I guess maybe that's a little Just Too Good reference with the number two, of course, because he coined that. And then you've got a little a little meow there with uh, some cats and stuff. Super spooky stuff there. And she's got a phone. And uh, on the back, she's got this other facial expression. And uh, the fanny pack or whatever carries over onto the back. And here is Pete Peterson, just a humble subway worker working uh, late hours and stuff until, of course, uh, oh my goodness, the, he's he's been possessed. And... Uh, yeah, here here's his back printing, and then of course, oh, oh my goodness, he's he's a spooky ghost, so spooky, and yeah, I don't really know what's going on here. He's got this weird neck attachment there, some really giant claws, and you also get a bunch of other weird and I don't know spectral sort of pieces there, and yeah, that that's. That's the minifigures. And then here we've also got a one of the newer bike pieces, the off-roader or the, the mountain bike. And this came in one of the people packs first, and this is the newer mold, and it's really smooth. I like this this bike. It's really awesome, and to get it in this new color is really great as well. And uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Well, there you have it, everyone. That is the Newbury 
Subway. And again, something that I never thought that I would be looking at. And I'm sorry, I can't download the app on my phone or anything like that, nor would I really want to. Anyways, with all that aside, you could check out someone else's review of the app. I've heard really bad things about the app, how it's not working, and I'm not even sure if the January update is even out. I very much doubt it because I think that it was late for the launch of the last sets. But anyways, uh, you face off again. Rat Sean, which would be a really great looking big figure in that color, yellow from the box and everything, but you're still getting the regular glow in the dark sort of bright green monsters or whatever that's in almost every set, and I'm glad that at least one of the sets actually changed some of the colors for once, but I, I don't have too much more to say about this. Stay tuned because I am very, very excited about actually changing this set into a superhero set. Oh my goodness, while I was building this, I was like, this is going to be such a great looking superhero set when I'm done with it. There's just so many things that I have in mind here and I can't wait to show you that. I'm going to hopefully get it done before the break. I might even make some exclusive stickers and things, so stay tuned for that. I'm pretty excited about that, but anyways, everyone, stay tuned for that. Subscribe, turn on the bell notification so you don't miss out on the latest LEGO reviews and things. I've still got a couple more 2020 set reviews to come out over the next few days, but uh, I hope that you did enjoy this video, and I hope that you all have a great day. I will see you all in the next one.